Okay, next movie. And our next film is Stealing Beauty from the world-class filmmaker Bernardo Bertolucci, the director of such epics as Last Tango in Paris and The Last Emperor. Unlike his previous work, Stealing Beauty is a modest effort about a 19-year-old American girl who comes to Italy following her mother's death, looking for romance, as well as the true identity of her father. The hot young actress Liv Tyler plays the innocent virgin who immediately excites everyone living at a Tuscan villa, including a yuppie lawyer who would like to steal more than her beauty. Well, touch your tongue to my tongue for the ultimate connection. Uh, uh, Dorothy, I was just wondering. Oh, Richard. Hi, sweetie. What, what's going on? Uh, well, we were just, uh, you know. <laughs> Wait, wait, Miranda? More significant is the nurturing relationship she develops with another house guest, a dying writer played by Jeremy Irons. The point of the film? Physical beauty does have a very real power, maybe even a healing power. Well, look who's up and about. I had a great night. You met Lucy. Oh, she's irresistible. Eventually, the Liv Tyler character decides to lose her virginity, and it's a poignant moment as she confides in someone whose life is ending. So I brought someone back. Yeah, I heard. Who's the lucky fella? Guy from the party. Uh-huh. Italian? English, actually. Oh, English. So, good. Well, I'm proud to be nearby at such an auspicious moment. Stealing Beauty does not have the political or emotional gravity we associate with a film by Bernardo Bertolucci, and the dramatic conceit of placing a fresh face amid tired ones isn't groundbreaking either. And yet, I wasn't bored by Stealing Beauty. I noticed the Tuscan landscape as well as the beauty of Liv Tyler, and I felt a personal desire to steal some of that beauty myself. I felt the appeal of a physical landscape, I guess, as well as a sweet soul. Thumbs down for me on this picture, but it's clearly a mixed review on Stealing Beauty. My thumb is down too, and I guess it's probably down a little bit further than yours, because one of the problems I had with the movie is that Bertolucci and his screenwriter obviously were not interested in making this character played by Liv Tyler into a very complex and intelligent human being. She is seen... She's a creature of the 90s. She is not, she's not a creature of the 90s. She's a dumb broad. She comes into this picture and wow. is used entirely as an object. No one in the movie seems to be able to relate to her at all, except for Jeremy Irons, except on the basis of her appearance. Right. And you got That might be more their while, problem than know, hers. This is a woman who was 19 years old, yeah. uh, who has been raised in a bohemian atmosphere of some sort, and has no conversation. She has nothing of interest to say. And so, as a result, why are we interested in looking well, at her? I except we can see a photograph of her. Uh, in a magazine, well, and that would be the same idea. I think idea. you can be critical of those people rather than being critical of her. That's the way they choose to engage her, Roger, if you think about it well, for what a about second. Her, though? I she, also believe, she I believe to be that Jer Jeremy I mean, Irons... If no, they'd written this Jer movie with any interest well, at all in who that person was, we would have found out it more been, about her. It would have been a better movie, maybe, if we, yes, had, we got to yes, know her no. at some level. But I think this movie is making a statement about how people look at a certain level of beauty, and that's where it all well, stops. Well, that is a sophisticated justification for a flaw in the film. Thank you.